Ah, bueno, la pregunta es para Jaymar. Eh, simplemente quería eh, saber cuáles son sus percepciones del partido. Obviamente, eh, con muchas cosas que ocurrieron alrededor del partido, pero ¿cómo describirías tu actuación y el partido en general? Gracias. Uh, so the question is, uh, Jaymar, please, what are your impressions on the game? It, it was, of course, a very interesting and dynamic game. Uh, what are your impressions about the game itself and also about your specific uh, performance? ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches. Bueno, nada, contento por, por la actuación de, del equipo y también, bueno, triste por, por, la, por, por las dos bajas que tuvimos ahí, los dos compañeros que, que tuvieron que repasar por lesión. Pero bueno, en general creo que hicimos un partido muy, muy bueno. Eh, hicimos lo que, lo, lo que habíamos eh, planteado. Y en lo personal, bien. Creo que lo hice haciendo bien y bueno, aquí también gracias a mí. So um, I'm I'm very happy uh, for the team. I think the, the the team play really well. At the same time, I'm very sad for the two injuries that we've had on on, on our team as well. Um, it is it is a difficult situation. Uh, But it was a good game. It was a good game. Uh, we did what we wanted. We did what we were planning on doing. Uh, and we executed really well in, on all the different positions. Uh, yeah, Alex as well had a, a very interesting situation during the game. So it was a good game. Thank you for that, Nico. Um, next question, we're going to go over to Alonzo Contreras. Alonzo, please go ahead and ask your question. Thank you, Alex. Uh, this question goes for uh, for Alex uh, Roldan. Congratulations on your first clean sheet in the MLS and three saves. Uh, and I wanted to ask you, what went through your head uh, on those free kicks? Um, you know, it's, it's tough, but you, you just got to help your team in any way you can. And um, they picked me to, to step up there. And obviously, I you know tried to get my best and help my team close out the game. And, you know, fortunately, we were able to come out with a win. Next question in the queue I'm seeing is Jada Evans. Jada, go ahead and ask your question, please. Great. I have a uh, question for Yamar. Um, wanted to ask what, uh, actually I've got a two-parter, but I wanted to first ask Yamar what uh, uh, working for the this season, especially since this is like the third uh, shutout. And then for Alex, uh, you know, as far as being in goal, I mean, when's the last time that happened for you? Um, yeah. Jema, uh, la, la pregunta para ti es eh, cómo te sientes en la temporada, especialmente que ese es el tercer partido que tenemos un partido sin goles en contra. ¿Cómo sientes que está el equipo? Eh, bien, bien. Yo creo que la, la nueva formación que, que, que implementamos este año, yo creo que la, la entendimos a la perfección y bueno, y, bueno, y por ahí no me tocó jugar los dos partidos principales. Eh, decisiones técnicas, yo, yo lo respeto, pero ahí no me dio bien contento porque los compañeros que jugaron me hicieron bien y bueno, ahora me está tocando y bueno, lo estoy haciendo bien. Y bueno, gracias al equipo, que somos un equipo y bueno, siempre nos estamos ayudando, siempre nos estamos charlando y yo creo que eso siempre es fundamental para el equipo para hacer las cosas partido tras partido. So, um, uh, we are we are feeling good with the lineup and the change on the lineup that we have done for this year. It has been understood by the team to perfection. And um, uh, even though I have not been considered in all the different games, I'm very happy for the team uh, that the team is performing really, really well. And when I have had my chances, I have been able to perform as well, really well. So I'm, I'm happy for, for the team and how we're performing. Alex, I'll, th I'll throw it over to you if you'd like to answer the, the question about uh, getting back in goal. Have you ever been in goal before? Yeah, thank you. Uh, have I ever been in goal? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, maybe youth, youth, I don't know. Copy that. Thanks. Maz, you're next in the queue. And just a reminder, as he brings himself off mute, uh, please go ahead and hit the raise hand function to ask questions. Alex, obviously an emotional game in so many different ways, but what is it, what did you guys do differently 
in the second half in terms of the back line? Because you went through different formations before you went to goal. What was it that you guys did in the back line to keep them in front of you? Um, you know, I think it's just it's, it, what we focus on is just making sure that we kept a clean sheet to, to win the game. You know, we were up 1-0. Um, you know, we came out with a goal in the, in the first half, which was our goal. And then second half, we just needed to solidify that game and make sure that we threw numbers behind. I think the emphasis was on our, on our defense. I think it, it showed all the way through the end in the 90th minute where, you know, we have numbers behind the ball. And it, it just goes to show, again, you know, the – the, the grit of this team and, and how we focus and, and come together to defend for the 90 minutes. Thanks. Next question is going to go over to Jeremiah O'Shan. Jeremiah, go ahead and bring yourself off. Hey, Alex, uh, what was the conversation like uh, that resulted in you going into the goal? Was it you raising your hand and saying, put me in, or was it Brian coming to you? Like what, what's the process of that? And, and, you know, how do you end up putting on the jersey and the gloves? Uh, I think Christian Christian was originally having the conversation with Schmetz, and, you know, they kind of discussed it. I think Christian just threw my name out there and uh, basically told him that, you know, it would be better if I were, went in there and he could stay in the midfield and, and kind of defend and be the outlet to, to relieve some pressure. So, um, that, that decision came between them two, and, you know, I was willing to take up the challenge and hopefully secure a win. Time for a couple of follow-ups here. Uh, we'll first go over to Nico Moreno once again. Nico, please ask your question. Uh, la pregunta era para Jaymar. Eh, el día de hoy tuviste que cubrir a un uh, joven prometedor, Chau, al igual que un legendario eh, como Chris Wondolowski y quería saber eh, cómo fue cubrir a estos jugadores y qué se hizo hoy para neutralizar a los jugadores So the question was Jemar, uh, uh, you have to cover today uh, two players a, a young player uh, with a promise career in front of him and also a very experienced player. Uh, how do you prepare to actually cover, uh, uh, try to do those two things or two different things at the, in the, during the game? Principio por ahí eh, tuvo buenos movimientos, pero bueno, después yo creo que ahí junto a la defensa lo tuvimos eh, contrarrestar, igual que no tuvimos muchos problemas. Y después con Wendorowski sabíamos el potencial que tenía por arriba, así que nada, eh, lo, siempre lo, lo estábamos constantemente eh, hablando para, para que uno siempre estuviera con él. Y bueno, por suerte las cosas salieron bien y contento porque no. So uh, uh, the first player was a young player that was a, he has, he's a very good player with a very good future, uh, with very good movements on the field. Uh, fortunately, we were able to, at the beginning, we were struggling a little bit with his movement, but then we were able to talk and understand the, the different placements that he had on the field, so we were able to, to cover that better. Then later, when Wondolowski came in, I mean, we know he's an excellent player and he has a, a big strength on his airplay. So we were always in constant communication, you know, in between us. So there was always one person covering him at any, at any particular time. Uh, and the results were good because we were able to basically have them cover all the time. Thank you, Jamar. Thank you, Augusto. We're going to close out with one more for these guys. Jada, it looks like you have a follow-up. And if you do, please go ahead and bring yourself off again. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, Alex, I just wanted to follow up or, or know a little bit more as far as, I mean, you, you haven't been in it before and then your brother is just throwing your name out there. So, um, you know, was there any time to get nervous or anything about that? Or, um, yeah, and then you also have three, three saves. So, yeah, it was what to so talk me through, like, how you became comfortable with that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just something that you know you need to step up and do if your name is picked um, and if you're, you're called upon to, to do a job and uh, mine was fortunately called there and I, I feel like 
that's one thing about me is that I always had confidence in what I do. Um, and so I think that the coaching staff and my brother as well put confidence in me to, to step in there. And luckily we were able to come out with a win. So, um, you know, that's the best part.